Um, I, uh, if I recall correctly, Pelka had the favor um, game one. Then it was like Nuggets, Nuggets, Pelka, Pelka. Yeah. So I'm just curious to see how well they're going to do, um, how well they're going to play against each other here. We're going to go to Battlefield in this first game of Grand Finals. And we're starting off with such a calm song. Ends Castle. Well, at least it starts out calm. Wait, what's the song? It's Ends Castle. Oh, from Pokemon. From Pokemon Black and White. Let's go. Yeah, great song. Nuggets yeah, that's one of the, the great. Uh, that was one of the great things about like uh, the addition to Smash. Oh, oh. the Smash! That you can pick any song you want on the uh, Battlefield stages. But you know, yeah. excellent catch on the forward air. Only taking up ten percent right now on the first get on um, first stock. Nugget on fire right now. He's just playing this so well. Yeah, uh, Nugget's playing um, exiled into new do set. So you know, you know, Nuggets is warmed up right now. Yep. And honestly, that's one of the disadvantages of just having. Uh, Game Pelka right now, like you have not played in bracket for at least like 20 minutes, probably longer. Yeah, a little bit longer than that. But I mean, you got you got the time to reflect on like, oh, you know, this is what I want to do. Game, make a game plan while you're going into your matches. Know exactly who you're going to be playing against. Nugget's just kind of running away with this right now. 117% on Pelka. Oh, I would have been scared to see that uh, up tilt. Right there from Snake. Uh, oh, not able nice. to. That might have been early air dodge. Uh, Pelka might have been able to just keep going up with the up B a little bit longer, but I mean, I may, they, may, they just misjudged the, the distance. Yeah, I think that they uh, thought they were a little bit higher than they actually were. Mm. Dropping the C4 onto the platform. Nuggets trying to stay away from it. Um, yeah, well, it's going to get up tilt. So, two stacks to one right now. 84% on Pelka. Nuggets looking really clean right now. It's yeah, Nuggets looking real clean. Not taking any damage on their second stock right now. Pelka's already on their last stock. High percent, 100 plus. I mean, this... You could honestly say, let's just, hey, let's just go to game two right now. Yeah. Um, you know, unless uh, Pelka throws something out of the bag right now. Uh, this is looking like a pretty clean Nuggets uh, game one right now. So, not going to quite hit the turn up. Or the cypher with the turn up. He's Ooh. Able to catch him with the up smash. Ooh, we saw that forward air earlier in the set. Hundred and seventy five on Belka right now. Eddie. Oh yeah. Nuggets was looking for the ledge trump right there when I able to get it. Gets that solid back air hit for game one. Nuggets able to take game one pretty handily. Yeah, pretty That's convincingly I'd say. I mean a clean two stock. Not taking that much damage, um. Just, just you know, just yeah. solid overall, you know. They played uh, like every stock really well. Uh, they are. They do seem to be running it back to Battlefield. Really? Um, really? I I'm shocked. Actually. I'm shocked too. I uh, thought you would want to go to a different stage, but I mean, oh, you know. yeah, <laughs> no I, way you're going to Mega Man. I, I actually I, don't even know Pelka has a Mega Man. I know he's a Diddy. That is true, but Pelka's Diddy is not on the same level as this thing. <laughs> That's true. Ooh, now we get Warrior Wear Ink is our song pick. I gotta say, I. So many good songs in Smash, man. Just mm. like, doo, just like so many great things. So starting off with this game, Pelka taking the early lead, 37 to 23. He does seem to be doing a little bit better with just keeping Nuggets out of the space and able to throw more explosives everywhere and lay out these traps for Nuggets. Yeah, in game one, it seemed like Pelka really never had any like time to set up like really any grenades. Um, Nuggets was just playing so well. Um, and getting in on Pelka's zone that they just didn't really have any time to really do that much. But I mean, they do a little bit better right now. Pel uh, Pelka playing a little bit more patient um, overall right now. Missing the up smash. Not going to quite hit him with the turn up either. Both players just fishing for something. Wow, the up tilt's gonna do it, yeah. <laughs> that was not that high of a percent, but they were able to get that right there. Solid uh, solid stock from Palka overall. Nuggets just trying to get in right now, try to take the stock as quickly as he can. And Palka's just not letting him. Just keeping his distance, throwing these grenades. And anytime that Nuggets tries to get in, he just gets blown up by a grenade. Honestly, really solid play by Pelka. 
Definitely yeah. has adapted. From yeah, game one. yeah. Zelka definitely adapted from game one. You know, game one's a warm up. Game one's a way. Use that for data. Use it for a warm up. You know, you're coming off of a winner's side bracket, so you got some time to warm up there. But you know, playing a lot better. I mean, even the Nuggets now evening the um, stock two sides apiece, um, and Pucka has a a small percentage lead, but uh, not that much. I mean, P uh, Nuggets might be able to bring it back. Yeah, already like two hits and at forty something percent. Nugget, or uh, Pelican, just trying to keep him out as much as he can, just throwing those grenades. 100%. Going high like he usually does. Like all snakes do, I should say. Pelican is able to get the roll in with the up tilt. Really solid from him. Just running away and trying to keep Nuggets out. Yeah, Pelka doesn't want to give Nuggets anything. Any, like, good stray hit might just take Pelka's stock right now. Um, you just got to be pretty careful um, about, like, how you're going to use your movement, how you're going to set up all these grenades to zone out uh, Nuggets from getting any real hits in. Just playing so patiently, both of them. Going to capitalize off of the roll with the uh, grenade blowing up into Bear. Nugget's just not able to hit Pelka, and Pelka able to just rack up the damage. Honestly, Nugget seems to be getting a little bit desperate. Just kind of throwing out some moves. Yeah, it was a complete momentum swing um, from game one. I mean, Nugget's had control for most of the match, and now Pelka is actually the one up two stocks to one. Um, Possibly no taking his next stock right here. There was like a back air trade right there. Both players are sending back to neutral, but uh, you know, uh, Nuggets are able to get that Daisy Bomber right there, but Pelka's just gonna swiftly drop uh, drop back, hit that back air, evening up the set 2-1. If you didn't know, Pelka is in the winner side of the bracket, only needs to win this set of best of five in order to become the winner of Base State Beatdown Week 11. Nuggets needs to get uh, the reset from loser's bracket in order to win. All right. So we're even right now, 1-1. One, one. Uh, going to Kalos, it seems. Um, yeah, a little bit of a bigger stage. Um, you're going to be able to survive a little bit more from both characters, actually. But um, I really want to know what Nuggets is thinking about taking um, Snake, particularly to um, Kalos. All right, starting off with a nice grab. But both players kind of keeping it even right now. Uh, Pelka sticking with the true eyed and true grenade toss, try to keep him out. Nuggets with the early lead with solid 85% on him, but uh, Pelka trying to take it back. This stage, you have a lot more space to really work with, and it's going to be a lot harder for Pelka to kind of control. He has less area that he can control, like percentage wise. Mm. Um, this is a much bigger stage, and you have the platforms that kind of just keep them close to each other. And, you know, both players just looking to take the stock here. Oh, excellent forward air off the side of this stage. Uh, Nuggets not really able to capitalize on the drifting recovery, but able to hit that Daisy Bomber. Um, yeah, one of the things about uh, Kalos is that it is FD like. Where it doesn't really have like it doesn't have um, center platforms, um, mostly on the sides. Good um, snipe good from Pelka right there with that up air. Um, but Kalos is really good at catching people's landings because it just has an open center. Um, and you know going to the sides is pretty good, but then you still have to approach um, your opponent back in center stage, and it's pretty hard when you have Pelka and Nuggets able to control center stage really well. Come from there. Even game right now, 63, 66. Tries to go for that greedy F smash. Oh, Pelka. Nice fair. Both players just scrapping right now. Oh, that was an interesting situation. Tries to go for the fair there, but doesn't really get it. Uh, Pelka going for that dash attack. He gets whiff punish. Um, with Nuggets' is back air, a go for the down throw and it's up air actually. Um, not really able to some off stage that much. I heard Nikita. Uh, yeah, I guess it just fell. Good way to kind of 
keep yeah. him away. I really like how Nuggets is using um, Daisy Bomber to deactivate Nikita. Because if you if you didn't know, if you hit Nikita while it's active, you actually disable its active um, um, hitbox, so that if you if you like collide with its like you know its, its um, character model, then you actually don't get hit by it for a few seconds. In a way, it. It's not the same, but in a way, it kind of reminds me of Shuton with the down air Pikmin. Ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So going into game three right now, we it does seem like Nuggets does have a lead, but obviously Pelka could easily take us back with just one up tilt or honestly a grab. Oh, there's the up tilt. <laughs> yeah, I mean that was really soft the up tilt. Right now, evening up the um, stock uh, stocks to one up one a piece. Um, Pelka racking up the damage right now. Um, using oh I thought I saw a bomb there for a second from Nuggets. I, you never know when Nuggets it could. It, yeah, you never know when it's gonna come out. I honestly kind of miss the old days of May. Oh, that was a great grab from the uh, grenade. But um, I kind of miss the old days of melee where you could like get like the beam sword and mm. other items, not just the bomb. Was there a fan? Yep. No. You get a fan? Could you get the fan? Yeah. Really? I think so. I don't, I, maybe I'm maybe I'm imagining things. I don't know. Uh, interesting up smash choice from Nuggets right there. Goes for a second one actually. That one's a little little sketch right there. But I mean, Nuggets playing around Palka's uh, advantage state right now. Goes for the turn up throw, pushing Palka right off stage, keeping control of center stage. Trying to drift with these back airs. Palka able to get that dash attack, keeping Nuggets now off stage. Now Palka has the one in center stage. Dash Good back. dash attack, okay. yeah. Pelka up 2-1 right now. And honestly, one more win, and he will be our base eight, uh, beat down weekly 10, or week 10. Week or 11. 11. Week 11, sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah this looks like an inverse of um, the winner's finals um, earlier in bracket where it was Pelka first, and then Nuggets 2-0 uh, to make it go to game four. But now it's the inverse where now it's... Uh, Nuggets won game one, and now Pelko um, winning two in a row. And going back to Kalos, actually, interesting, actually. I'm, I'm curious to see why they actually, because um, in game one, Nuggets picked Battlefield. And then game two, Pelko went back to Battlefield and actually did really well. Um, I mean, Nuggets went, uh, Kalos, I assume, to like want to have like a stage advantage, but Nuggets actually just going back to Kalos, um, even though they lost on it. So I wonder if he's able to bring this back. I mean, Nuggets is it, keeping it even right now, or pretty close to even. Only 100% to like 80. Tries to catch the uh, double jump with the fair, but not quite going to do it. Nice grab by Pelka. Gets the roll in with a dash attack. Sets up for an extra. Oh, that scenario. grenade actually stopped uh, Nuggets from recovering. Was that, a, was that a C4? That was a grenade into a C4. Oh, interesting. Okay. So good job from Palka right there. Able to get that clean stock in. Only at 96. Um, not really a big threat for a KO. Um, but you really don't want to be like in a stuck in a bad situation against um, Daisy. They can really um, burst your disadvantage and for a stock pretty fast. Dropping Nikita on his way down as a way to kind of take over that space. Has a grenade in hand, not gonna do much with it. Just tossing grenades, trying to let Nuggets not approach. Gets, Nuggets able to get a bear though, and send him off stage. Look at the up air, but doesn't quite kill. 169 on Nut Pelka. Yeah, if I was Pelka in this situation, just play it so safe. Use your, um, oh, I was about to say, use your, Try to get back on stage, just rack up as much damage as possible. You can while you have that stock, but I mean, not really able to do that much. Only uh, only got 33% on to Nuggets. Just trying to keep Nuggets out as best you can. Even game right now. C4 on the ground. Does Nuggets notice it? Yeah, hopefully Nuggets notices it. Yeah, a lot of it's a lot. It's kind of hard to always keep track of C4 because 
you know, sometimes you, you'll you like, oh yeah, I see it there in this situation, like on this platform, and you'll be like, a minute later, like, you see it blown up, like, wait, what do you mean it was right there? Like, some people just forget. Yeah, it's just like, there's so much to keep track of with Snake. You have like the grenades, you got this Nikita, you got C4, and it can be, it can be annoying to like, remember where everything is. Yeah, up excellent up tilt off the parry. That was a really good choice, but uh, not really able to go for a kill right there. Um, oh, we got the Nikita. Deactivating Nikita with the turn up. Not really going to do much. Goes for the dash attack. Steps with the grenades for a good nice. wall out. Yep, Pelka on the uh, tournament set right now. Um, tournament you know, stock. It's just... It's stitch stitch online, base. though. <laughs> I said he's going to regrab it. Yep. One hit with that, and Pelka will be on his last stock. Yeah, Nugget's just playing so carefully, knowing that the Stitch could be a game decision. Yep, Nugget's, Nuggets is not letting go of the Stitch, waiting for a prime opportunity to nice. send it! And, and he, he still re-grabs it. it right there! This? Nuggets could still use the, the Stitch face to their advantage. Could we see like a, a quick like zero to fifty with the stitch face, or even a turn up train kill it? No, oh, no, Pelka. now Pelka has it in hand. You never want to see a snake with turn up. It is probably one of the scariest things. Yeah, it just game. throws it away. I honestly right. agree. I think it's better for um, I think it's better for um, snake to have the grenades more than the turn up. Not not to say that they can't use it effectively. Oh no. But no. um, it's just you know you're you're giving up your ability to hold an item. For uh, you know a stitch base, which is you know it's fine, but you 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 just have so much more better mobility and um, usage tools for grenades. Dash attack. Pelka with a pretty solid lead right now, 96% on Nuggets. Yep, Nug Nuggets not out of this yet, but is racking up the damage ever so slightly. But Pelka's doing really well um, at playing a little bit more defensive. Goes for the up smash. Nuggets not going to get hit by it. Um, Nuggets sending Pelka off stage. Are we going to see no no frame trap scenario? Patiently waiting for him to get off the the platform there. Really close game, both at 131%. Anyone can win this, honestly. Oh, the up smash. Nuggets has been going to trial for these up smashes and a lot. Just barely whiffs. That up tilt right there, not for the stock. Yeah, you got to be really careful of your nuggets right now. You do not want to get Before, caught by anything. And Pelka wins Bay State beatdown week eleven. Yeah, that was that was that was a really um that was a good set. Yeah, it was a really good set all around in top eight. A lot of best of fives, a lot of close games. This was the repeat. Pelka able to take it over Nuggets twice in the same bracket. You know, good showing for both players. Is this uh, Pelka's first tournament win post-COVID? No, Pelka had to have won something. Pelka definitely I'm had to have won. What? Okay, right. yeah. So not his first one. Yeah, but no, yeah, definitely not. Pelka's won many, many other tournaments. Uh, they won um, like a Midnight Ride event um, recently too. So, mm. you know, thanks for watching everyone. Hopefully you guys had a great uh, viewing experience. Hopefully our commentary has been good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you know, um, you can check our Twitters. Uh, my name is Gerd. You can follow me at S underscore, S-U underscore Gerd. Uh, I'm Sinbad. Uh, you can follow me at Sinbad, uh, Sinbad N-E. Yep, and, you know, follow Collision Smash if you can. We're going to be hosting Bay State Beatdowns every Thursday around 7 o'clock. So hopefully you guys are going to stay tuned for next week. So thanks for coming out, guys. Thank you.